Aquas, welcome to my channel. Right I'm sorry about that. That was ice cream. So, no wonder singers don't eat ice cream. I guess it, it does something to your throat, which I don't do. Cold drinks, you know. Good morning, America. Good morning, world. How is everybody? I don't have coffee. I chugged it this morning, so I have to stay away for stay away from it for now. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Though. These are bi weekly aquas. Let's see. There was a star card, but there was eight of swords in the pre shuffle. You feel hopeless, but in reality, you're the symbol of hope. Okay, so don't lose hope. When everything, you know, when everything is coming down, don't. Because we rely on you guys. <laughs> so don't just say. Okay, let's see what's going on. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. Aquas. Here we go. Ooh. Top. Is my precious. And this is your precious. Will of Fortune. So Faith. Okay. Jupiter. Mm. Where is Jupiter first? Okay. Where is Jupiter? Jupiter is going to Scorpio. Okay. Going to the move, um, moving towards the house of, um, a house of Scorpio, Vedic Sidereal. Um, I'm going to, hold on. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to get the chart. Okay. Maybe they want me to talk about Jupiter here. And I would have to see. Okay. Going on to a chart, and if you can, you can timestamp this if you don't like the astrology part where I do sometimes. Okay, let me see where it's going. Okay, because that's you. Okay, I'm doing it first for the ascendant. One second. Okay, from the ascendant, Jupiter will go to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 9th, 10th house. You go into your 10th house, which is very expensive. That's, um, you know, that's a Scorpio house, but that's a 10th house also. Natural 8th, basically. Um, you might um, receive an expansion, of course, on the variety of ideas that you want with your career. The part where um, all of a sudden you want to keep traveling at the same time, of course, uh, you know, if you go there. But traveling traveling with, with spiritual, even like venturing to like the occult, like you might want to go to a certain pil pilgrimage of of something that is esoteric though <laughs> you might you, you might get influence from studying what is the secrets of the universe the stars the skies all of a sudden you have this thought about it or thinking of moving towards a career in in in, in metaphysical okay now i'm gonna move this to okay that's what's inside your head okay let me move to you know to sun Okay, to the sun signs of Aquarian. Now, the sun sign Aquarians over here, okay, uh, would see this as something that is, okay. I just feel that, you would have to be, you can't see much of the sun, because I don't really read much of the sun. Okay, for the sun signs with regards to astrology, because it has to. I mean, this is about your your body and your physical. Um, you know, uh, I'm sorry. Um, this is about your the soul side, but I touch it also with your rising. That's why I got I got a little confused. Okay, it's not. It's it won't be similar. But let me move to to your moon. Okay, let me see. You can timestamp this, guys. Okay, if you don't want the Okay, let me see. One second, because I have to flip the charts again. If you guys don't like the, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sorry guys, because it's Jupiter and there's a big move, so might as well get it, um, get it done. Okay, okay. So for the Aquarian Moon. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, so it's, yeah, okay. Yeah, big shift in your career, same thing. Student, mm, but this is your feelings though, remember? Okay, so th here's how it is. Okay, so for the moon, for the sun, uh, for the sun, it might, uh, it would show basically 
Um, a change of path. Okay. With regards to your career. You're finding something soulful with your career or you're looking for something that's soulful in your in your 10th house. Okay. And if it's in your physicality with regards to the rising sign, you might want to move, relocate, you know. But this, this is going to be concerning about your career in, in the next year. Okay. Um, and then the moon sign, of course, you know, this is going to be the way that you're thinking with regards to your job. Okay. So those are all different things because that's your, you know, mind, body, and soul, basically. Yep. You might, you were going to receive also, um, better, um, job opportunities, um, when Jupiter moves to, okay, to Scorpio in October, but we'll have more discussion. Now we're going to go to tarot timestamp. Okay. So there's something spinning and it's spinning around and it's, you're going to get it. And this is about, you know, getting, um, you know, um, expansion and growth and fortune and those things that I've discussed. Okay. But now as it related to your soulmate over here, Knight of Wands, Sag, which is naturally ruled by, um, naturally ruled by, by Jupiter. And this can be someone who travels, of course. This is a lot of traveling. This per the person that you're connecting with, a lot of traveling, a lot of traveling. That's what's it, what, that's what's involved in their work. Of course, it's known as the one night stand, but this is like someone is returning because the wheel of fortune is a cycle. So they probably have done the dirty with this person, and now they're coming back. Oh, your wish is not just granted; it's happening. Nine of Cups is your K two. So this is where your this is spiritual nine of cups is very spiritual. You have a lot of spiritual energy that I'm feeling here. Oh wait, that's why when I'm tapping into it, it's like it's very deep. What you have always, um, always, always waited. It's coming your way, but this is almost like an energy of the universe. It's more of like a planetary um, prediction. Like it happens just cause you know there's a movement in the planet. Well, it's always like that. Let me see. Eight of Swords, see? The Eight of Swords still. So it wasn't you who was who was fearing. It was this person, though. If I'm scratching, okay, it's just cause also. I don't know why I'm scratching at afternoon because I don't read past certain time because I scratch. <laughs> Knight of Wands with the Eight of Swords. So someone is scared to come back to you or you to come back to them. And this is more of them, it's just like, and it looks like a one night stand. Of oh, course. It's almost like they know what they've done and they're being hunted by their, but this is the ghost of the past. So you could be connecting with someone who has a dark past and they don't know how to approach you. And it, also I'm growing um, this facial hair, so it annoys me. Six of Wands. You're receiving a lot of success and opportunity here. But you are changed. You've changed. For some for some of you guys, you even, um, how do you call it? You change physical, like, I'm just saying, it's like you lost, you know, a couple of pounds. Okay. You lost a couple of pounds and you look good in a nice dress. You know, if you're a guy, you look in a nice suit right now. When you fit your clothes right now, it's like, oh my God, it's just like, well, who is this? It's just like, it's like, and people are in awe. It's like, what do you do? And it's like, nothing. It's just like, I woke up like this. I woke up like this. I woke up like this. And people are just like applauding to you. You could be also receiving really a reward of career here. <laughs> cheers, cheers. That's what I'm seeing here. You're very career oriented. See, you have two of swords. Should you, you know, like this person is just choosing either they stay or they go or they come back, but they don't know. But they're going to give you a hint. They're going to give you you know, this energy of the, with the baby, they're going to give you almost like a memento. Is that a, is that what it's called? A memento? Like, or this person has a memento to you? Yeah, it's really the facial here, guys. Sorry. They probably left you like, you know, like little thing. It can be a crystal, a locket, a watch, um, you know, a picture even. Something that was dear to them, they give to you. Because they don't know um, if they can come back to you. But there's more of like, they just don't know they've done something they can't reveal to you and you're doing well but and they're they're not they're not ashamed they're doubtful and they're fearful if you will welcome them because you're doing well okay however this is you could be doing with a quiet star Leo Scorpio and something is good coming in this person's life though because nine of cups is like 
very indulgent kind of energy, but it's not about gluttony. For me, this is always your K2, which is what you're good at. And you, if you're good at following your, you know, like this certain thing that you, that innately, that you can do amazing, you're getting blessings over it. But then you would look now for a partner because after you finish the success, your K2, you look to your seventh house, your one seven, basically. Now here comes the seven. They're not in the, you know, the same vibration as you are. Okay. So I'm going to continue this reading, guys, as we move forward with this energy. I know you guys are like, oh my God, like that's everywhere. Rewind, replay, give it a go again, okay? I'll see you guys again, Aquas. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.